Welcome back to Mr. Bunker's Gaming Bunker. We're currently roaming around seeing if uh, we can find any duplicators around here because we were told that the uh, to the east of the island with the ancient arena was there used to be a duplicate or a magic key factory. One of the uh, patrons in the bar in Adlahide um, told us that. So we're looking around here to see if we can find anything. And we're also trying to learn what I believe is one of Jack's final uh, fast draws because it seems to be at the end of his list. His list seems to be like full. Like if you look at Rudy's, there's like one space down here, so maybe he has one more. Um, and with Jack, there's only space over there, so I think he only has one more. But with Cecilia, there's space for everything she can learn. So I think that's kind of how it is for um, for everybody's menu. I think everybody's menu is as big as they, as many uh, abilities they get. I think that's kind of how it is. So it feels like we're getting close to the end of, ooh, his fast draw hints. Void has been mastered. Very nice. Okay. And we got 420, uh, Gela out of that. Cool. All right, so now we know Void. Let's use Cecilia. Oh wait, can we even? Huh. There's no way to get rid of Curse. Oh wait, but what if we use Invisible? Can we be invisible and cursed? We are. What? That's kind of weird. All right. Um. Well, what I wanted to do was go back to some place to heal. Um, let's just go to... Oh, we should go to Rosetta Town. Because if we're going to be looking around for specific enemies that have a specific drop or a specific item to trickster and whatnot, I'm going to want to increase my luck. Make sure it's maxed out at the best. Alright, so let's check our stuff. Oh, Jack's got bad luck. I guess that makes sense. He just had a emotional confrontation with uh, someone from his past. That's pretty unlucky. Thank you for the luck. So I'll hold on to at least one of the flowers. Alright, now let's go back to the bigger island. I like this one. Oops. And then, oops. There we go. Oh, not that. Oh, well, it'll wear off eventually. But Curse, on the other hand, I think actually doesn't wear off. I think you have to use an item. Or no, when we teleported, it went away, right? So maybe it does just fade on its own. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. I mean, I don't know where else would be east of the arena. These seem to be the only things. The other ones are actual, like, continents. And they all have, like... Ooh! Okay. These are probably what we're looking for. Hey, ya. Heya Kantan. Hayo Kantan? Either way. Let's put his reflex back on. Alright. And this is where I would save state if I had some. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have... Well, I, I guess I do have... I'm not going to do that. Let's defend with Rudy for now because I really don't know what to expect from this fight at first. We're going to go with Trickster, because I'm pretty sure that's the right move. And we're also going to go with, oh, High Prison, I guess. I wasn't expecting them to be in separate groups, but I was just staring at it, so I should have. Alright, so they have something to steal. 
The way it explodes like that always makes me think that means it's not working. Alright, so we're just gonna keep up Trickster. And I think we're gonna keep up High Prison, honestly. I think that would be a good idea. Even if we get something with Trickster, it'd be a good idea to try to use Lucky Shot on them as well. Hmm, that's pretty tough. Oh, Rudy got the counterattack and a crit, though. Okay. Oh, you know what we should use do with Rudy? Let's use a lucky card. That's always a good idea. Because these got to be special guys. All right. Um, Trickster. And we're going to use Remedy this time. Because if they focus on Jack, actually, if they focus on Jack, he's down. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright. Direct voice, huh? Uh oh. Oh boy. Alright. Well, we still got one person that can heal the status, and he's fast, so that's good. Heal blade for Cecilia. And maybe I should give him something that prevents... Or maybe I should give him the full Libra. And I have like two of those now, don't I? Hmm. So that would be good stuff to have. Oh, except for the fact that this is going to happen. Hmm. Okay, good. Equipment on you. Yeah, I have two, so... We're just going to keep them on these two. Because we need to heal and we need to steal. Good old steal and heal. And she can use her store. Oh, and he can get condition green. So very nice. <laughs> Still couldn't steal. Come on, Jack. I gave you the best luck. Gotta get this. Antimatter bomb. That's what we were just dealing with in in the ancient arena, but it wasn't too bad. Rudy as Protector. Let's do that. We're going to keep up with Trickster. We still haven't gotten anything. And Dual Cast. Remedy and then Lock State. Where are you? Lock State. Bam. Now that is a Dual Cast. Get everybody healed and get everyone status protected. Eh. Whatever. Good. Everybody's healed. Oh, and it doesn't do nearly as much, I forgot. Her remedy doesn't fully heal the whole party because um, she doesn't have her crazy good equipment on anymore, which I could change. Let's do that. Just because um, now she's locked state, so not a big deal. So we'll put that on him, just so we don't have to be too concerned. And back into the fighting. Let's see. Oh, I could also use... Oh, that's what I should have used. Um, analyze. Then I'll actually know if I'm about to, like, kill them with Trickster or something. It's not doing much damage, but I really don't know how much health they have. If they have, like, 30,000, then I could kind of be screwed. So I'll just have Rudy defend again. Trickster on the same one. Mystic. Mm. Yeah, we'll use Mystic on um, the Kapush just to avoid using the one MP. Not that big a deal, obviously, but every little bit. Analyze. Level 1, 28,000 health. It has 23,000 health left. Okay. 
good to know. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. Ooh, Rudy actually took damage and then counterattacked as well. That's cool. Also, we don't need to worry about doing too much damage to them anymore. <laughs> but we do need to worry about getting hurt too much damage, so remedy. Still couldn't steal. That level 1 thing is really weird though. Why would they be level 1? Whatever, I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, let's see how Hand Cannon does. And actually, let's go for a Divide Shot. Just to see what happens. Kind of a bad feeling, but that's, you know, that's just me. <laughs> oh. Maybe that's what it is. They're level one, so that you can't lower their HP and ability, because you can't lower it past level one. That would kind of make sense, right? I guess let's just... Oh no, lock state. That's... That's what we need. Alright, there we go. Took down a chunk. So Rudy's actually going to summon Guardian to give everyone more defense. That's a good call. And Jack's going to go back to his Trickster. And let's just pop on a Remedy to be sure nothing's going to happen. Or let's be sure that no one's going to go down. Defense up for everybody. Okay. We're gonna hold off until we get Rudy's Protector again, but we gotta keep going with Trickster. And let's do just a regular analyze. See how much, exactly how much health it has left, because I don't wanna take it down. But I don't know what I'm gonna do if it gets low on health. I can't really heal it, unless it has healing on its own. It might. If it does, that kind of sucks, though. It's got 9,000 health left. Okay, that's plenty. Okay, not bad. Probably Lock State just saved my ass there. <laughs> Alright, let's try Rocket Launch. Jack's gonna still Trickster. And Cecilia is actually going to... Oh, she has her dual cast. She's going to use dual cast. Make sure everybody has lock state. And also... Give a high shield. Yeah. We're working on preventing status and damage, so... Both those make perfect sense. Still couldn't steal. Come on, Jack. Nice. Alright. This should not work. Yeah. Okay, good. It doesn't do that much damage, so it's got to be just a status thing, and lock state prevents that. So, huzzah! Ooh, now this guy's actually getting kind of close. He's down to like 5,000. So, Rudy, just use a protector. Jack, please steal something from this guy. And... Cecilia. Maybe another high shield really just keep pumping us full of defense? Yeah, let's do that. If I can get it to the point where they're doing like zero damage, then that'd be awesome. Still couldn't steal. 
Boom. Yeah, see, does zero damage to Rudy. Hmm. I'm actually nervous now that I'm going to start doing too much damage and take it out. So let me get one more analyzed. Okay. It's got 4,000 health. Oh, what? Should have done lock state that turn, I guess. I really should have just done lock state. Let's do a hand cannon against this guy, just so I'm still doing damage. And just for the sake of it, let's use accelerator. Accelerator with the heal blade, so that if something does happen to Jack, he will uh, be already close to getting condition green. Okay. All right, now we're down to just trickster for that guy, for sure. Ooh. Okay, good. Ooh, counterattack. Still defend, please, Rudy. Or maybe more... <laughs> or summon garden, why not? Um, Jack is still trickstering this guy. And Cecilia is definitely gonna... Oh, no, I need lock state. She's gonna use lock state, and then next turn she will heal up. Duplicator acquired. Very nice. I'm just now realizing that I need four more of those, though. Well, maybe now that they're low health, prison will work, and it will. I'll be able to do lucky shot. Or maybe I just have to keep trying with lucky shot over and over again. That would be even worse. Little boy. Okay, well, Rudy can definitely start focusing his rocket launcher on that guy. Jack can do divide shot on that guy. And Cecilia will use prison. I guess I'll try high prison. I feel like high prison would have a lower chance per target. Like, prison probably has like a 50% chance to hit, while high prison has a 33% chance for the whole group. Maybe it's just a matter of they're either immune or not. Hmm. Oh man, everyone's pretty freaking low. When did that happen? How did I miss that? Miss that? Okay. Um. Wow. If I die now, I'm gonna be real upset with myself for being dumb. So, hmm. what to use in that case? Because by the time Rudy gets his turn, no matter what, he should be healed by the others. And Rudy and Jack are ailment proof. Oh boy, how am I going to do this? I guess Rudy's just going to go for an attack as usual. Which he has lock on for, so we'll do that. Just going to try to take this guy down. And Jack is going to use his Accelerator, even though he doesn't really need it. And we could just use an Ambrosia and not have to worry. But I don't think that's really necessary. And I want to save those in case it is sometime. So we're going to keep Jack alive because he's fast. And we're going to have Cecilia. Hopefully this will... That should be more than enough. Okay, yeah. Everyone's completely maxed out. Yeah. Yeah, zero damage on Rudy. Okay. So that's good. 
We'll just use a regular hand cannon because I'm not sure how much help this thing has left. I don't think it's that little. I think he still has over 10,000. But all we're looking for is another duplicator. And I really hope that they also drop duplicators because that would be really useful. Okay, he's got 8,500 health left. Let's get him down to like maybe 4,000. All right, that wasn't bad. All right, here we go. Now he's down to about 67. We'll do one more hand cannon. That should be perfect. And then just keep it up with Trickster. Don't think we need anything else right now. Rudy back on Protector. Jack is almost out of MP. I really hope he gets it in the next two. I don't want to use a magic carrot up on this. Oh my god, that would be really frustrating. Let's... So nervous. I'm just gonna use Trickster until he dies, which means I'm gonna have to use another magic carrot. Oh, my last magic carrot. Are you kidding me? Or, or I could not use that and use one of my nine. Oh, nope, that doesn't do any MP. Oh, these stupid things. Oh, fine. Oh, I meant to use. Mystic, not summon. I really wish there was a confirm because this is either going to heal him or kill him, and either of those really suck for me. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of experience. I should think so. I can't believe I lost out on that other duplicator, though, just because of a slip of a button. Alright, but now we definitely have to teleport somewhere to heal up. Hmm, let's go to St. Centaur, it's free. We can save, heal up, talk to our friend. I would like to save Mr. Parrot. Alright, everybody's just over level 40. Oh, and I forgot that there are monsters here. Ah, oh, come on. So, let's check on... I really wish she had a name. Or they told us her name. I assume she does actually have a name. It's been someone else visiting me. Very funny. So now, yep, here it is. You persistent bastards, why are you here? Are you here to take my little paradise away? Here I go, ready or not, I'll crush your little... Will you fight against him? Hmm. What happens if I say no? You want to pick a fight with a guy who's in his prime? Do you know how dangerous that is? Well, I'm feeling generous today, why don't you go? Oh. So I did just screw it up, didn't I? Oh boy. Oops. You worthless bunch of... Okay. So I said no, but if I try to go back in, then he doesn't like it, so... I guess it's fight time. Monster. Monster, Zed. Yep. So this is what I remembered happening, and I'm pretty sure the reason I remembered it is because I got wrecked. And I wasn't able to complete it. So, let's see what happens. 
This is heaven. Here I am, the grim, grim reaper's pen pal, the ultimate macho man. I've got a couple things I'm gonna try out. Maybe divide shot. Um, oh, I gotta change up the equipment first though. We still had the full Libras on and everything. So, reflex. And the boom getter. That's the hand you use to get the boom. Rudy's the one with the boomstick though, so it doesn't make sense for a jack equipment. <laughs> um, we'll start with hand cannon, the classic. Go with trickster just to make sure it says has nothing, otherwise, mm. And then, I think high shield would be our best idea. Uh, High shield seems like it's a good idea. He does a lot of physical attacks. And Zed still holds his sword sticking out in between his fingers. Now they're sticking out just... It's just sticking out of his hand. But it's definitely not at the right angle for him to be holding it as a sword. <laughs> High shield just to hopefully prevent this from doing too much damage. Next time. Uh, took out less than half his health, so... That's good. Has nothing. That is, oh, so good. That's such a good thing to see. It makes me feel so much better. That means Jack can do Divide Shot. <laughs> so I'm gonna try that. I assume Divide Shot will do maybe Miss against him, but maybe it'll be good enough. Let's just do Remedy because she was slower than him. The Lady Harkin fight was just ridiculous. It was absolutely insane. I think I attacked with Rudy and or Cecilia like two or three times and still, and I, and then did nothing but Trickster and still I couldn't get it. And it's because of games like Chrono Trigger where there are optional bosses that have equipment that's super secret and usually super good. But it, it, that's the fun of it for sure. Um, Phaser was good, but not too great, and Wild Bunch will now have 100% accuracy, and that is our strongest, so we'll go with that. Hmm, I kind of want to, um, keep trying Divide Shot, um, but I also feel like it's just going to keep missing. Uh, let me try... Shadowbind. If Shadowbind works, that could be pretty useful, so we'll do that. And we already have High Shield. Oh, I guess Hyper. Yeah, we'll go with Hyper. Alright, Doombringer again. This time against Rudy, who's got the highest defense, though, so still 11. Alright. Alright, it doesn't look like we'll be able to do any statusy type things against this guy. Which makes sense. Monster Z. Um, hand cannon. I guess, yeah, we'll just go with the Magnum Fang. And... Maybe another Hyper this time on Rudy. Let's see if it works. I've been avoiding... Oh. Kinjite Yasha Ichamen Tiro? Oh, boy. Status lock would have been perfect. If only I had remembered to use it at the beginning of the uh, fight like I did every fight at the beginning of the game. But, whatever. Now with Rudy like that... First thing we'll do is Accelerator Heal Blade to get rid of all those at once, and then we'll use Cecilia for Lock State, which will put Rudy at risk of dying. No, it won't. He'll be fine with the Heal Blade. So where's that Lock State? There it is, right where it is. Okay, clear out all these status ailments all at once. Bam. Oh, and then he's going to do it again, huh? Okay, maybe I should put those full Libras back on, huh? <laughs> um, hmm. Um, since I was saying it, let's just do it. 
Pull Libra on him. I can't change out Jack's equipment because he's not controllable at the moment. But with Lock State, we don't need to worry about Cecilia at the moment, so. Or at least I hope. <laughs> so, what to do? So, would it be a good idea to heal with Rudy? I don't think so. I think I should just go with Wild Bunch again. And I used Hyper on him, so now I'll know if Hyper is super good or um, for Rudy. No, I can't use Dual Cast yet, so I just gotta use Restore. Maybe I should heal with Rudy then. Yeah, let me go back. Indecision, indecision. Go we'll do Potion Berry. It shouldn't be more than that. Restore. Done. Alright. Can't do it against him. Perfect. Um, could do this to give us even more defense. That might actually be pretty super useful. But I want to use his last Wild Bunch first. <laughs> Back to Magnum Fang. Yeah. And she has a dual cast. Gotta say, I really love it. And I hope this fight will be the one that gets me um, Jack's fourth thing. Fourth uh, force level. Because he's the only one that doesn't have it, and I want to know what it is. What should her special... Uh, I guess... Oh, duh. Saint. Why wouldn't I use Saint? Oh, and also, why wouldn't I have changed up the full Libra equipment? Oh boy, what's that? That's a death thing for everybody. That's what that is. Okay. So he has a move... ...that can one-shot kill me. Damn. But, I will say that he didn't do too much more than our max HP. So maybe level 45? By then I would probably be doing pretty good against him. Thing is, I don't know how much health he had or how much he had left. If that move is one of those type of like, just before they die sort of moves, then... If I really understood how the goat dolls work, I would probably have used those. Maybe I should do that. Try it one more time, but with goat dolls. Because that thing just took everyone out immediately. But if that's the only thing that can do that, I feel like I had a pretty good handle on it. Oh, but then everyone's going to be weaker, that's right. But not by much. Because people had full Libras on and stuff. Hmm. I gotta get Rudy's luck back up too, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we'll try that one more time. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> and we don't have to waste the first turn trying to steal. Alright, yeah, yeah. I think. I think this time we'll definitely, uh it out when you're given the option in this sort of situation my first response or especially this specific situation when you get the choice to fight or not my first response is definitely no because he's been helping out the blind girl so not only is he not necessarily 100 percent evil or anything um you're taking away the blind girl's friend even if her friend was evil he's nice to her so like it seems like no would be more or less a better option even if uh, I don't know maybe that's just me <laughs> time to fight this is heaven here I am the grim reapers pen pal the ultimate macho man so I guess with that 
little extra bit of dialogue, you're supposed to kind of understand that he's not just hanging out protecting her. He's running around and just being a Grim Reaper. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess we shouldn't just leave him be. But that was definitely my first instinct. Now that we're in the battle without... And we know that full Libras would have been a good idea, but we also need those goats. We're going to keep status lock up every couple of turns, probably. Because <laughs> I don't know how long it lasts, but I'm pretty sure it lasts only a couple turns. And, I, and if it's not that it only lasts a couple turns, then it definitely there are definitely moves that can um, knock out lock state. I think that move Purple Electric and Purple Electric Revise that we've seen a few times throughout the game, I'm pretty sure that can knock out the lock state status, I think. All right, not too bad of a start. We'll keep up with the hand cannon. We're definitely going to be going through this battle a little uh, more slow and steady style because we don't have our equipment maxing out all our damage and defense, but we definitely have things that will keep us alive, and that's all that's going to matter. I hope, or hopefully that'll be enough is what I mean. <laughs> and we're just going to stick with the remedy, make sure, oh, actually... I actually need to be careful about MP because of my magic carrot situation. If I run out of MP, then I have no way to get it back at the moment. Oh boy. That's frustrating. Okay, Wild Bunch. Keep up with the Magnum. Oh no, 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 no. Heal Blade on her, because she's about to go down. And Mystic, or actually, I mean, I haven't really had to do any grinding, so that's been nice. But that's more just good game design than it is about me as a player. If um, the enemies are giving you the right amount of experience and the right areas and everything, then you shouldn't really ever have to grind in... Um, in older games, it was definitely the case that you had to grind, but that was more a matter of uh, game developers not exactly knowing how to do a console game and whatnot. So maybe back to rocket launcher? Yeah. I want to keep doing good amount of damage. Man, Cecilia's actually like continually almost dead on this round. I mean, on this attempt. <laughs> hmm. Back to Mystic, Summon? No, summon, Summon's gonna end up healing, I'm sure. Just with my luck, that's what's gonna happen. Is he just focusing? Oh, I thought he was gonna do that against Cecilia again. That's not very good either. Grinding was definitely a habit that was most difficult to break in like Final Fantasy games. So in Final Fantasy 9, I very specifically remember the exact area where if you stand there, the battles don't stop coming. I know how to do it in Final Fantasy 8. So like grinding was definitely something that I became used to, but uh, playing them on the, uh, you know, on stream and everything has definitely made me um, try to avoid it and it's been I've been personally I've been impressed that I haven't really had to do any grinding in them it, it I expected the game to force me to at some point that I would just be too weak kind of like this situation but clearly this is an optional thing so that's totally different <laughs> back to that wild bunch oh or Heal everyone and get rid of Jack's thing. That would be a better idea, wouldn't it? So, to keep Jack alive, we did this last time too. Restore, yeah. And it was like at the exact same thing. 
So lock on. One last wild bunch. And he has accelerator now, so he's gonna use that to heal himself. Just in case. Yeah, because Cecilia's remedy doesn't do max anymore. If she had her regular equipment, it would, but not at the moment. Oof. Oh, and I have to put Lock State back up. I'm gonna keep forgetting about it because of all the healing I gotta do. Alright, but we're gonna keep up with the damage, so we're doing fine. Let's accelerator for Magnum Thing again. And now she's got the dual cast, so hopefully he won't do any stupid lock state stuff. I mean, status stuff. And I'll be able to get in one of those, and then I think I'm just going to have to do another one of those. I want to get in a Saint attack, but I think that's going to take a little while to set up. So I need a turn where... Everybody's healed. I have dual cast. And there are or there aren't any status ailments. Some combination of those. And like I said, I gotta keep an eye on Cecilia's MP specifically because I have no I have one magic carrot. <laughs> Ugh. Alright. But at least, I'm pretty sure, or at least in this round, or in this fight, no matter what, I'll figure out how the goat dolls work for the, finally. Magnum Fang. And... I really want to try Saint. Oh! Um, no, I guess I should do high shield, right? I gotta prevent that damage. Especially with everyone's equipment slightly lessened. Everyone's getting, been getting hurt a little bit more. Guy crash. Yeah, just the same. Okay. It's funny that he used a uh, magic attack the same round that I used. Something that increases their physical defense, though. Hmm. Curious. Let's just continue with the rocket launcher, even without the lock for now. The lock on. And how much... Cecilia should be able to survive one more attack, so... We'll hold off and then just use remedy with her, I guess, for the next couple turns. Oh, is this the one? Yeah, it is. Goodbye, everybody. Goat doll takes the blow, goat doll takes the blow, goat doll... Okay, okay, so that is how they work. Wow. But, okay. I can see how that wouldn't be perfect, though. If you were fighting more stuff, it's possible. Alright. I guess I'll just slap another one on everyone. Jeez. But I'm glad it doesn't just, like fully heal you or something, which obviously would be amazing, but um, wouldn't make sense, and uh, would be really overpowered, especially since they were only like 1500 on the black market. Granted, that means it cost me almost 5000 to that one attack. Whatever. So, back to Remedy. Oh, and did we all lose our force levels? I guess so. That sucks. But we're alive. <laughs> we're alive, and that's what counts. Oh my god. Right into this one? Okay. Rudy's still gonna do damage. Alright. And Rudy is going to... Oh boy, he, Jack, is gonna go down. Maybe I should just take this round for damage. 
wait for Jack to go down and use revive. I think that would be smarter than trying to heal him with Cecilia and Rudy. Oh, but he's not going to go down because of the goat doll, so... Hmm. I guess, yeah, I'll just have Rudy continue attacking, and I'll just have Cecilia try to heal him up naturally. No, I'll just use Restore. No, because if he dies, they'll go away too. Oh. Oh, well, that sucks. But I still think this was the better idea. Because now if he wipes everyone out, we'll come back to life with uh, without the status effects, I assume. Oh, and of course I have no bullets left at this exact moment. <laughs> oh, wait. I could always use this. It does recover status. But Rudy's not fast enough to get it out before something happens. Oh, the choices. Let's try it. Okay. Oh, and it did not get rid of the ailments when the goat doll took it. That's good to know, too. Jeez. So this was totally the right call. And I'm still really blown away that that does not recover MP. But that's fine. Should I summon Guardian to get more defense? I think so. Yeah, it's been an issue. We're in it for the long haul. I almost forgot to... Oh. He didn't die. Rudy didn't actually die from that last attack. That was cool. Tough little bastard. I've always been the type of player that holds on to elixirs and mega elixirs and everything until the very end and then ends up never using them. Um, but I've gotten much better. Uh, like you just saw, I actually use the Ambrosia. But also, um, it used to be that I would not use like magic carrot type things like ethers at all. At all. Like every Final Fantasy I would have, you know, like 99 ethers and stuff but I've gotten much better at that now it makes you think way more when you actually have to uh, um, struggle against things but it's also really fun to just like kind of kick ass through um, which is actually what I'm gonna do for the next game I play all right so we got everyone with our goat dolls once again he does his execution mode oh so I guess that makes sense he has like a grim reaper type attack right after he talks about being the new Grim Reaper. All right, I guess this would make the most sense. That'll get us 10 shots. Um, Jack, still with the Magnum thing. I really want to use Hyper on him. So let's do that. If you don't actually lose your statuses, then that must mean you don't actually go down. Summon Guardian would get more defense, but I don't think it's necessary, so let's... Let's actually save up for Fury Shot, so we'll just use that. <laughs> Taking out another Grim Reaper, so yeah, I guess so. Oh boy. I understand why it doesn't, but I do feel like that should... ...knock out the status ailments. I think we're actually getting low on, uh, oops, goat dolls. There's one. Alright. Man, Rudy keeps just barely surviving those attacks. But it didn't look like it. I'm pretty sure it showed that he died as well. So why? Rudy just isn't losing his goat dolls, maybe. Might be a little bit of a bug <laughs> in this 23 or 24 year old game. Did I do that math right? <laughs> uh, there are buggy things in this game, like there's a way to duplicate any item up to 255, and I completely avoided that. 
because obviously I could have done that with duplicators and secret signs and crest graphs and I would have just had everything at the very beginning. But again, that's really fun to do in certain circumstances, but I want to show everyone the story and what it's like to go through if you kind of don't know anything about it. Don't know all the tips and tricks especially. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't like that everybody's near dead. Let's try... I guess I'm going for another Ambrosia. Because that's the only one that affects everybody. Mm. And then... Lock State. Because everyone keeps getting stuff done to them, and I keep forgetting to do anything else about it. Oh boy. Okay, so that time for sure it said the goat doll took it. <laughs> so we'll check next round and see if uh, he actually lost it. If not, then I will feel kind of bad for this game. Okay, good. I was going to say I'd feel kind of bad that this game is kind of screwing things up. Should I give him the full Libra? Yeah, that's not much of a difference for that stuff. So let's just keep him status protected. And if we learned anything from the fight with uh, Elizabeth, it seems like if you have something that prevents an ailment, they don't even use that move against you. Like, they don't even try to do it. So maybe that'll prevent him from using that attack against Rudy. Let's see. Keep it up with the Magnum Fang. And I guess back to... Oh, that's right. We can do Dummy Doll. I'm an idiot. I guess that only works for one round, though. Or maybe it's just one hit. But still, that wouldn't be that good. I'd be constantly trying to catch up with who needs a new one. Right, yeah. Mm. So yeah, Rudy has been just plain surviving those. Oh boy. Accelerator for Heel Blade on Cecilia because she is our white mage and we need her. Maybe because her remedy's not that strong. Oh, but I need to save up her. But if she gets knocked out, it doesn't matter. So yeah, her remedy's not that strong. Let's use Mega Berry. That should get everyone topped up, unless he just wipes everyone out again. Which... Okay. Whew. 135. Wow. Alright, good, good, good. We survived that round. <laughs> and that's what it's come down to. We're definitely just trying to survive round around at this point. Arm lock on. I would love to do Wild Bunch, but I don't have the bullets. Let's get the accelerator. Go for Magnum Fang. Go back to Remedy, because we don't know who's going to get hit. Alright. But I feel like now I'm in that rhythm where it's to the point where even if I uh, lose, as long as I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm basically as set as can be. So if I lose, that means I just literally cannot defeat this fight with my current setup, which would suck, because that would mean some wasted time, but no time wasted. Just learning new things about this enemy in this fight. Mystic's not going to be that helpful. Remedy. Yep, just keep it up. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that ability kills everyone and puts anyone to sleep that isn't killed. I had not noticed that before. Jeez, that sucks. And, and there is no item that wakes up sleep. Oh, crap. Real nervous now. Oh, yeah. Beginning of the end right here. Oh, I forgot I still had one more goat doll on them. Phew. 
Alright. Sleep has been rough. Like, I hate your whole team gets put to sleep, and then, oh, round after round after round, nothing happens, and people do physical attacks against you, and still you don't wake up. <laughs> yeah, a little frustrating, the sleep mechanic, the mechanics of sleep in this one. Oh, oh, that was really close. I almost forgot to re-equip that, which is going to make things much better. All right. So let's... Maybe I should give her the full Libra, though. Let me keep her healing up. I think that's a really bad idea. But I'm going to keep her healing up and keep the goat doll on Jack for now. If something changes drastically, then I'll change it up. For now, let's just keep trying to... Stay alive. Alright, I'm really glad I switched those up because this should do max. Yeah, or near max. Okay, come on. There can't be that much left, right? Hmm. Oh, there goes Cecilia and Jack. I knew I should have given Cecilia the other goat doll instead. Oh well. Oh, not a well. I'm screwed. Can't do anything now. Let's see if Full Revive makes it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging on by a thread at this point. Come on, Rudy. If he takes him out with this thing, I'm going to be so happy, but also incredibly amazed. Ah. Should have put the full Libra on her. Damn it. Even at this point in the game, I'm still not used to being able to switch equipment back and forth. Wait a minute, give me a chance to explain. 25,000 experience. See, Doombringer acquired. That sounds like a very, very good weapon for probably Jack. Oh, lucky cards, of course. Of course, lucky cards. That would have been so useful. Oh, it doesn't matter. It was my second time. I wasn't never going to remember to do it on the second time after losing the first time. Um, just listen to me. I won't run. There was an accident with the gate generator. I was caught in it and ended up here in this town. I didn't know what was happening. There were monsters everywhere. I saw this woman. I told her to keep quiet or I would kill her. She was calm and quiet. Later, I found out she, that she was blind. For the first time in my life, I felt complete. She was the first person that treated me normally. It felt kind of nice, so I decided to stay and helped out around the house. I was afraid you might tell her who I was. That is why I attacked. Yes, I am a demon. Go ahead and kill me. Yeah, see, that's that's exactly what I was saying. So, yeah, I... Yeah, I remembered this uh, from many other scenarios and many other games and stories about how... Exactly. There's always a redemption arc for the monster, especially if that monster started out as a goofy character that just wanted to be noticed by his mother. <laughs> Jeez, you sure talk a lot for a demon. All I need is one shot. Hey, you're a lot meaner than you look. No, stop. I really believe Zed doesn't want to die. He has discovered a life other than a one for fighting. I think we let him stay here, in this town. Maybe he can help the blind. What do you think, Rudy? I agree. You guys are really nice people, aren't you? 
I'm a born-again guardian. I'll protect this gir little girl with my life. We shall meet again, my friends. Don't forget me. I'm Zed, the Deviant. Those are always, like, my big regret moments when there's, you know, the fork in the path, but, um... I'm about to save over this, so pretty soon for this file, we'll never be able to find out what'll happen if we say no to Zed. Unfortunate, but that's how it goes. That's life. You sure about this? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Everyone is nearly dead. Alright, um... Cecilia... Wait, what? Why can't she use any magic? She's not silenced. Oh, I guess she's confused. So let's put her in front. Hang on. Walk around in the wrong direction a little bit. Come on. Come on. Eventually it should work. There we go. Eventually the um, paralysis and confusion wear off. And now she should be able to use restore on herself. Fantastic. Let's get a heal. So now, on the thought of uh, not being able to um, maybe take back an action, I'm going to go talk to the blind girl. I'm really concerned, which is why I'm saving now, um, really concerned that if I talk to her, it'll kind of lead to dialogue that just immediately talks about Zed, but I'm hoping it won't. I don't want to spill the beans if I don't have to. Okay. Alright, yeah, it looks like it's just the same dialogue as ever. If I hit the watch, will I go all the way back? Yeah, where to next? Good, uh, good question. This is something that's been on my list forever, so that's finally off. I suppose um, since we are just kind of more or less doing, trying to decide where to go. We're going to teleport to Rosetta, grab one more quick flower so that we have that. Um, the only other thing to do really is, oh, the obvious thing. We have the Guardian of Love, we have the Guardian of Courage, which were the two ingredients to get the Guardian of Hope. And I love that they changed this dialogue so that she says that it increases luck. Or, it is luck, she says, I believe. Alright, a little more water for the flower. There we go. And... Let's see if he's changed his tune. The light that has been forgotten is waiting among our people. Power that is derived from courage. Power to conquer the past. We did that. Power to protect precious. The power of love. Got that. Powers of the West Wind, the hope for tomorrow, possibilities, the power of hope. And they are also equipped, right? Courage. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let me get these. Oh, and he got a new. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, but luck goes down? Well, that's frustrating. Oh, it automatically goes to the worst luck. What if I equip... Okay, let's see what happens. Does it actually go up, though? It goes to bad. Oh, I wonder if it's just when you first equip it. I wonder if I can kind of cheese it now. Hang on. Because it's worst. Nope, it can't go up anymore. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I should really keep that equipped. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely strong, and I can change up equipment at any time. I wonder how that will affect when I take it off, though. Is it just going to go back to nor or to best? Yeah. I could always just equip it in battle. Ugh. I don't know what to do. I don't like it when his luck goes all the way down like that. Alright. Excuse me. Is Zephyr really going to answer our plea? We need hope in order to survive this dying world. Alright, here we go. Raftina and Justine's runes radiate a dazzling light. 
Even our light doesn't reach him. If we give up now, we will have no future. Rudy! What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to open the path to the future with the light from your heart? You are an artificial being. An artificial heart cannot bring a bright future. You cannot call the future wind. Why do you still seek the future of Filgaia? How can you do that? You're all alone in this world. You are a stranger who does not belong anywhere. How can you try to open the future to this world? Can you believe in dreams? You never give up. As long as you have that spirit, you'll always be right for this world. It is because of you, Rudy, that we were able to believe in the future. Please don't think that you don't belong to this world. We need you in this world. The light from the artificial heart is reaching the future. No way, but wait, this brightness really is the light of hope. The dragon idol shatters into pieces. Oh, it's Bahamut. I am the guardian of hope. The light from the heart that people have lost. This music's great. Is this the first time we've heard this track? This is amazing. Rudy, your heart is not of nature, yet it is, its light woke me. If you believe in the future, then use my powers to fight in the name of hope. Hope rune acquired. Um, that track was probably titled like Hope or the Hope Guardian Emerges or something. It seems like that track was maybe only used for when that guardian was showing up. Which is really unfortunate because that track was great. That was really pretty. Hmm. Oh, what do you have to say now? It's true that the West Wind Zephyr brings hope to our dying world. I feel as though I can believe in the future again. Oh, so yeah, now everybody, uh, now everybody has hope again. They really spent the whole game teasing you with this giant temple here. They definitely made it a good payoff with uh, the whole thing, the visuals and the soundtrack. Alright, Hope Rune. And, um, and it's slightly less sorcery, which I was concerned about. But does it have good vitality? It does not. So this is kind of what I was thinking. When I got the love rune and then I found the castle rune had stronger vitality, which is what I was aiming for for Jack. I mean, for Rudy. I was a little worried that, like, the quote-unquote secret ones are actually better than the love, courage, and hope. But... Now that makes perfect sense because it seems like those were more storyline as whereas the other ones seem side. But we have all three now, which is something we've been trying for a few episodes. Very nice. Hmm. Whereas um, most of the other things look like giant turtles and giant rocks and stuff like that. And um, but Raftina looks like a big giant angel and uh, Justine looks like a very humanoid lion with a giant axe and everything, or a giant hammer. Like, so cool. Okay. Rune. What I'm looking for for him would either be strength and attack power or response and parry. Okay, so this one is clearly the one that's supposed to be for Jack, obviously. It's the courage one. And did you? And the hope one is meant for Rudy. It must be because the other one increases sorcery by the most. And it's the one Cecilia got, duh. So there. Now we got our wait, did it also increase her MP? Or is that that must just be for me running around. Alright. I really feel like Rudy's missing out on a headpiece, though. Because he... Like, the other two got these relatively around the same time, but it was way after getting this. Ah, man, whatever. Who cares about that? <laughs> okay, but we got the hope room. Let's... Yeah, he really doesn't have anything else to say about that. That's really weird. Yeah, I'm not sure where the next dungeon is, to be honest. Um... 
guess I, I, I really thought getting um, getting this last guardian here would just take me to the next area like would hit me into the next story beat hmm I mean I also know there is something to do with that stupid thing to the northeast or northwest Oh, oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. The Ka Dingle just showed up. How could I forget? How could I forget about Ka Dingle? Not only as a matter of it's really important for the storyline, but also its name is friggin' Ka Dingle. How could I forget that that just happened? <laughs> Alright, but we're gonna save. And, um... And we're probably gonna actually... Call it a rest from this point on, and we'll save Ka Dingle for the next. I'm just gonna run over to Ka Dingle just to see if it activates something. Where was it? Yeah, I was north. See, the golems are even already here. Because I knew there was something here, but we couldn't get there before, and now we can. So at least I know for sure this is the next area to go. Next time, we will check out Ka Dingle. We will figure out what is dingling in the dangle and dangling in the dingle. So for now, um, let's land not on the beach. I uh, guess that's close enough. And we'll hang out with our little guy. All right. So I just want to say um, thank you everyone for being here. And uh, if you'd like to see the um, stream live, just check out Mr. Bunker's Gaming Bunker on Twitch. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good one, everybody.